Good morning, everybody. Um, first thing, putting my feet down on the carpet this morning was a lovely, you know, surprise. I mean, obviously, I knew it was there, but, you know, you roll out of bed and it's, oh, wait, yeah, I put carpet down yesterday. It feels really good. I uh, got to the, <clears throat> like, 40-something degrees last night. I even put a long pants, leggings on with my beanie last night. So uh, today, it's going to be 80, it's going to be 88 the next three days. I think that means we're going back to the river. Uh, be honest with you, I mean, it's it's hot, it's dry, but I mean, it's nice to be out on the water, you know, just re relax and enjoy. Because like I said, uh, I think I'll be going back to work here very, very shortly and uh, we won't be able to play as much. So I'm thinking about taking you guys with me today with the camera. Uh, it's water. I got a waterproof case on it. Uh, the audio obviously will be bad because I will not have this with me. And I will have to have the microphone port covered. So um, it, the, the, vo the vocals will be probably a little quieter. I know you all, uh, well, a couple of you all complain like no tomorrow about that, but that's what it is. Uh, man, this place was packed last night. I got a, a guy 15 foot from me that way. There was uh, somebody 25 foot that way from me. Um, I mean, there are spots. Don't get me wrong. It's just every spot was taken. They didn't leave one un unturned last night. I even see uh, the side of the road down there. There's somebody just on the side of the road. That's not really even a spot. But maybe what we'll do is uh, the Chinese I got the other day from uh, Safeway. It was okay, but nothing that made you want to go. Mm, let's let's eat it for three meals in a row. So I'm thinking about maybe uh, getting a pork tenderloin or something tonight, or uh, some chicken. Maybe we could do barbecue chicken. I'd rather do that over on a grill or over open fire though, rather than a pot. Um. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to get put into some uh, rafting type clothes. And we'll get the van all ready. These new window screens covers, man, they, they are really nice. I mean, they're stuck in there. They ain't moving. And it's uh, what's five, six degrees cooler in here than outside. Obviously, when the sun starts beating down and everything, it'll change, but that's what it is. Okay, why don't we get a change up and we'll get our day going. Well, I don't have high hopes about coming back here today. Um, there's already people driving through looking for spots. I'm sure as soon as I... Uh, pack up <clears throat> somebody will take the spot <clears throat> which you know can't blame them it's a pretty good spot uh, yeah, I'm just taking a quick walk and looking to see what I mean yeah and I mean nobody it's a weekend everybody came for the weekend so Lots of people mountain biking, running before the heat hits, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, everything's cake taken. So, I don't know, we'll figure out what we're gonna do for tonight, so. Okay, let's get ready to go rafting. All right, guys. So uh, I've decided we're not taking the uh, camera on a float trip, but I got the little band today so I can go down more than one time. I only paid four bucks. Okay, uh, like I said, I think we're gonna just, uh, do this for about four hours. I did get myself some uh, adult beverages for the trip today. Seems like the uh, norm is White Claw, so maybe that's uh, the trick. I don't know. You're in the river, There's nothing wrong with it. 
All right, and then afterwards, you know, uh, hopefully we'll find a place to camp. I don't think that's going to happen where we were at, but we'll see. And maybe we can uh, do something good for dinner tonight. So I'm going to get my uh, float out and get on the water. So we'll see you guys uh, in a few hours. Okay, that was a long day of uh, floating down the river. So I'm going to look... We're going to go to the grocery store. I have no expectations of getting my spot back today. Hopefully, I mean, I can find somewhere to camp. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but what I want to do, I don't think I'm going to find the rack I need for my Dutch oven to make it more into an oven. So I think we may do uh, chicken wings tonight. So we're going to go to the grocery store, see what we can find, and then uh, try to find somewhere to camp for the night. Okay, so I was looking for some kind of little rack like this, but it's got to be round for my Dutch oven. And they do not have one. So that's probably something we're going to have to order off of Amazon. Walmart doesn't seem to have anything anymore. So nothing I could even really make into something to work for tonight. But that's all right. I think, I think uh, chicken wings sounds kind of good tonight. All right, let's go find chicken. Well, guys, somehow, by sheer luck, the bucket trick is still working. Because um, every every camp spot's full um, around here, me anyways. And uh, <laughs> there's even one right here now on the other side of me. That's, it's just like a little pull-off on the side of the road. It's not even really a campsite. Somebody's already in that one. But... Uh, so my power is topped off. I drove like six miles today using the alternator. And then um, the rest was just solar. And it's back to, you know, right up almost to 100%. It was at 96 when I checked it before five. and So it probably got back to right to 100. Okay. So unfortunately... The only way to buy wings was in the mega pack. The smallest one I could find was four pounds. I'm not, I wasn't buying four pounds of wings. So we're going to end up doing chicken thighs. So I've got um, fake egg wash, you know, like egg beaters. And I've got my seasoned flour. And I'm going to go ahead and throw the thighs in the flour or the egg wash and then the flour. And, uh, should be all good. Egg wash then the flour, yeah. Or the flour and then the egg wash. I'm not coating them. I'm just, I didn't need egg wash. I just needed to coat them with the flour. I was thinking I was breading them. I'm just coating them with flour. So I don't need the egg wash. Okay, and then I got olive oil and uh, butter in the pan. I wasn't going to buy another whole thing of uh, canola oil or something just to do a couple of chicken thighs. So I'm going to get started doing it. Let's get them uh, battered or uh, seasoned up. Uh, hold on there. That really bugs me. I forgot. I was looking at panko breadcrumbs, and that's what got me thinking I was, I was going to uh, need the egg wash. Then I forgot I'm not, not doing the egg wash or the panko breadcrumbs. They're just doing flour and seasoning. That way I don't have to uh, clean too many dishes. We are just doing it like this. I found that famous Dave seasoning. I'm like, you know what? What the heck? Let's give it a try. I mean... Can't be half bad, right? Okay, let's get them in there. And a little shake.
All right, here come a couple more uh, people coming through. So we're basically pan frying these because, you know, I'm not, wasn't going to put that much oil in there to deep fry them. Throw that there for later. To get rid of. Probably should uh, get my thermometer out so I have an idea when these are done. Smell something in the van. I didn't smell it before I started cooking. Uh, it has to be from the chicken. Yeah, I don't know why they have to put things in such huge, you know, family-sized packages. I mean, why can't you just get a little, you know, thing of wings? I can buy four thighs. Why can't I buy a dozen chicken wings? All right, we're just sitting here. Uh, we'll wait till the chicken gets done. We'll give it a little while and then we'll have to flip it. Oh, smells good though. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. It's going to be a couple degrees warmer tomorrow. I'm thinking about taking a break from the floating though because. It was a long day. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what we want to do tomorrow. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be as hard to keep a spot here tomorrow, but, uh, you never know. It's summertime, right? A lot of people on vacation. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. So you guys don't have to just sit here and watch me. We'll take the temperature here in a little while after we flip it and uh, see where we're at. Maybe we'll go ahead and flip it now. I don't know. It's only been like, what, two minutes? I should have looked at the time. Yeah, we're not. We don't have a crust yet. I probably should have dipped it in the egg wash. And then re refloured it would have given a, a thicker batter since I'm not deep frying it like I thought. Or like I should, I mean. Oh well. Butter fried chicken can't be bad, right? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up so you guys don't have to wait for 20 minutes.
All right, there's Jelly Bean's uh, pan fried chicken. Let's give her uh, a try and see what I think. Sorry for the crunching noise. That's pretty darn good. Yeah, I haven't done fried chicken in so long. Normally, I would have would soak it in buttermilk and hot sauce overnight, and then that the buttermilk would really adhere to the flour and give that really good crust. But this has it's crusty. Um, you can hear me chunk crunching, and the flavor is pretty darn good too. I'd probably add a little more, uh, maybe garlic uh, powder to that chicken seasoning, but overall, I can't complain. Not a bad little meal out in the woods. Okay, I'm going to eat my dinner, and then we'll get right back with you guys. <clears throat> well, that was a pretty good dinner. Everything's cleaned up. Everything's put away. Now I can just sit outside and relax for the rest of the night. So, supposedly, there's a place not too far from here that's got a bunch of waterfalls. So maybe we'll take a ride over there tomorrow. See, see if we can find it. Um, I... I have a clue of where maybe it is, but I'm not sure where the forest roads are over there to get to it. But that'll give us something else to do except, instead of just uh, you guys waiting for me to get back from floating down the river. <clears throat> I'm gonna hike in somewhere, see some waterfalls, get in the water, cool down that way instead of going rafting or tubing, whatever, floating. <sighs> beautiful night. It's going to be nice and cool again tonight. I did find my beanie, in case you guys were wondering. So tonight will probably be another leggings and beanie night. I don't think it's supposed to get into the, the mid-40s like it was last night, 46 or whatever it got down to. I think it's going to be like 50, 52. So that's not going to be you know as chilly, per se. Um, I didn't run the fan at all last night, and it was uh, still... When I woke up, it was 54 in the in the van. I can't remember. But uh, I like it cool when I sleep. That way I can be under the covers and kind of snuggle. You know what I mean? So, you know what I'm having for lunch tomorrow and breakfast? Chicken. I got the garbage in my Lowe's five gallon bucket out there that way that doesn't attract smells into the house you know if something eats the bucket i don't give a crap about let it let it take the bucket you know hopefully it doesn't because i don't want to go find it because i don't want to leave trash anywhere it's not me leave no trace so all right i think that's going to end it for today's video and thank you for as always for watching commenting uh, subscribing sharing liking Helps the channel. And you guys have a great morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And we'll see you tomorrow on Jelly Bean Outdoors.